I'm Sandeep Babur from Glidepass Consulting, and today I'll be showing you some of the features and capabilities of using the mobile agent and HAM Pro in relation to stock room audits. Scheduled audits are typically configured in the ServiceNow instance, and ad hoc audits are usually done through the mobile agent. In this tutorial, we'll be walking through a common stockroom audit request. I am the stockroom manager for the New York Lexington stockroom, and I received a new task in ServiceNow. The task stated that two users had returned their laptops to the stockroom. However, in ServiceNow, the devices were still assigned to them. Let's take a look at those devices and see if they have a user assigned to them. So as we can see, both assets have different users assigned to them. Let's head down to the stock room and perform an audit. Once I've arrived in the stock room, I load up the mobile agent on my cell phone. I'll navigate to asset and then stock room audits. From here, I can select the top three dots at the top right hand corner and select new stock room audit. I will now search for the stock room in which I will be performing an audit on and that will be the New York Lexington warehouse. And then I'll refresh the page by selecting new update. I can now see that there is an open stock room audit and it has been assigned to me. When I'm ready to perform the audit, I will click on the scan button and begin scanning in the assets in the warehouse. Once complete, I will select on the review button. As I'm reviewing the count of the scanned assets, I can see that I've scanned in multiple assets a number of times. Luckily for me, the mobile agent will only pass through results and will omit any duplicates that have been created, or I can manually delete any duplicates that I can see. As you can see, this count is currently 13. However, I know I counted 11 when I was scanning the assets in. Once completed, I will click on the Submit button. I can now see that there were nine scanned and expected assets and two scanned and not expected assets, totaling up for 11, not the 13 that we saw on the previous screen. When we're ready to complete the audit, I can select the three dots at the top right hand corner and click Complete. If I refresh the page, I will no longer see the Open Stockroom audit underneath the Open Stockroom audits. I can now go back to the ServiceNow instance and take a look at the results. Let's take a look at the completed stockroom audit that we had just done. I can see the audit number, the type of audit that we completed, and where we completed the audit, which was the New York Lexington warehouse. I can also see who it is assigned to, the status of it, and what the scan date was as well. If we take a look at the audit results, I can see that there are four possible outcomes. New, showing the number of assets that were scanned but do not have a record in your ServiceNow instance. Scanned and expected, displaying the number of expected assets that were scanned. Scanned and not expected, the number of assets that were scanned but were not expected to be in the warehouse. And expected and not found, the number of expected assets that were not scanned. So in this case, we found out that there were nine assets that were scanned and were expected. There was also two additional assets that were scanned. However, they were not expected to be in that stock room. We can see the expected assets here, which were already populated within the ServiceNow instance. If we wanted to see our scan results, we can click on the next tab over and we can see all 11 of the scanned assets. Under the audit status, we can see the two that are not expected. These happen to be the two assets in question in which the task was raised for. If we now open up each one of these assets, we can now see that they've automatically changed to in stock and their stock room is the New York Lexington warehouse. So their state, stock room and location has been updated automatically and now the task can be closed. That's all for this tutorial. 
happy auditing and thanks for watching.